I love the colorful clothes she wears And the way the sunlight plays upon her hair Softly smile, I know she must be kind But you're surfing now I said I love you for life But I just sold our house We were kids at the start I guess we're grown-ups now mm -hmm. Couldn't ever imagine Even having doubts But not everything works out No Now I'm out dancing with strangers You could be casually dating Damn, it's all changing so fast
Good evening. Welcome to the commencement ceremonies for the Issaquah High School class of 2022. Please stand for the singing of the national anthem and the alma mater by Mix It Up. it up, you may be seated. I'm Erin Conley, principal of Issaquah High School, and I would like to welcome you here today. I would now like to welcome Issaquah School Board President Ann Moore and board members Dr. Harlan Gallinger, Marnie Moraldo, Sydney Mullings, and Suzanne Weaver. Executive Director of High Schools, Andrea McCormick, Superintendent Ron Thiele, Issaquah High School staff, and of course, our honored guest, family, friends, and graduates of the Issaquah High School's class of 2022. I would now like to introduce our first speaker for this evening's ceremony, our senior class president, Erin Tydledke. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us at Issaquah High School's graduation ceremony for the class of 2022. I'm Erin Tyletke and I am your senior class president. To my fellow graduates, I am so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. To get through high school in a pandemic takes perseverance, determination, hard work, and grit. You have all shown that you are some of the most resilient people this world has ever seen and your resilience will serve you well as we readily enter the next chapter of our lives. I am so grateful to have walked this path with all of you, and I know that wherever you go next, you are all more than ready to look life's challenges in the eye and not back down. We've had quite the ride. There have been some amazing memories along the way, dancing the night away at homecomings and prom, 
watching our teams go to state, competing with our clubs at competitions across the country, and finding a community of people you know you'll never forget. However, there were some bad memories too, and it's important to acknowledge the good with the bad. I remember that day in December of freshman year like it was yesterday. The day that I hid in a PE school rock, in a PE locker room with the lights off. The day I heard police officers yelling at my classmates. The day that the counseling office was flooded with students trying to cope with what could have happened. The day we had a serious threat of a school shooter. The Washington Post states that more than 311,000 students have experienced gun violence at school since 1999. For us, this was a fear. For others, it was a reality. Gun violence in schools has been increasing rapidly across the nation. This year, we walked into school every morning with the fear of not only a deadly disease, but the fear that we would become the next statistic. The day after the deadly shooting at Robbs Elementary, I saw not one, but two of my teachers crying in front of us. I remember Ms. Belair's heartbreaking words to our government class. I wish I could tell you what to do, but I don't know. I mention this now because it's important to talk about these issues. It's important to remember that thousands of other students across the country should be graduating with us this year. It's important to remember the anger, the heartbreak, the loss, because that is why we continue to resiliently fight for change. That is why we continue to persevere. <laughs> there will be many issues in life that feel overwhelming and absolute. No matter what you believe in, fight for it. Even if the issue feels too big to tackle, even if it feels like you're just one whisper amongst a chorus of shouts, don't give up. Class of 2022, we are ready to go out into this world to change it, to shape it, to impact it. We are ready to make a better tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Erin. I would now like to introduce our staff nominated speaker, Joshua Delgadillo. Good evening, Issaquah High School. I want to start by thanking the Issaquah High School staff for this incredible and somewhat terrifying honor and the entire class of 2022 for four years of memories. All 641 of us, to be exact. 641 of us that spent more time physically in class during middle school than in high school. 641 people that masked, zoomed, and fought our way through a four-year roller coaster. The great philosopher Taylor Swift might say, we remember all too well. But that experience has rendered us 641 people with unparalleled power. The lessons we all learned from when the world suddenly stood still, what we missed and what we endured, are ones that can shape a generation. The question is, how are we going to use them? Well, I have an idea. Let's change the world. If each one of us changes the lives of just 10 people, that's 6,410 lives changed forever. 6,410 lives each inspired to change 10 more on their own. Add on a zero for each new generation. In just five, that's 64 million, 100,000 lives changed forever. Now, that's a grandiose vision, I know but I'm certain it's possible because I've met so many of you. Whether in class, running with my beloved cross country and track teams, playing piano for the absolute riot that is choir, using DECA as an excuse to walk around in a suit every day, or embarrassing myself once a month with a broken attendance link at every NHS meeting, 
I've had the honor of seeing so many of my classmates in their element. These experiences have convinced me that every single one of you has something specific that you can offer to this world. With the temporary spotlight I've been granted, I choose to ask you to use it. Change the world. It doesn't have to be as insurmountable as it sounds. Start small and invest yourself in others. Whether as a leader or in a team, you will all need the help of others to change the world. But you can't force their commitment. You have to inspire it. There's no tool more powerful to do so than genuinely caring about the success of those you're with. I've seen it work already. When COVID had all but shattered our cross-country team, it wasn't just fast runners that resurrected it from just five people meeting in a parking lot to second in state. It was an atmosphere where everyone, from the first to the last finish, was cheered on with all we had. New personal bests were celebrated no matter whose they were, and each athlete knew that everyone was rooting for their success. Create that environment wherever you go. I know changing the world is a big ask, but what fulfills us in life isn't what we do for ourselves or what comes easily. It's the hard-earned victories, the impossible mountains climbed, and the people we inspire with those triumphs, failures, and recoveries. That becomes your legacy. So you are in control of how you're remembered, whose hearts you touch, and what kind of world you leave behind. So find that one thing that you can offer to us all. Find that talent, that team, that service, that ideal that you know you own more than anyone and run with it. Fight for it. Change your 10 people. Whether you believe yourself capable or not, start and change your 10 people. Whether they're friends or they're strangers, change your 10 people. And whether it takes a day or it takes a lifetime, change your 10 people. And if we all do that together, we can turn this whole world purple and gold. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. I would now like to introduce our student-nominated speaker, Brogan Brown. F equals G times M sub one times M sub two all over R squared. The equation for gravity. Five variables that keep the human race from flying. Well, that and some minor physical setbacks, such as not having wings. Our very own DNA keeps us from soaring above the clouds. Why is that? What things are ingrained into us that keep us from reaching our greatest heights, our greatest potential? You may blame it on gravity, but I beg to differ that the person you see in the mirror every morning may have just as much impact on your ability to fly. Wilbur and Orville Wright, two brothers infamous for their creation of the first self-powered airplane. How'd they do it? Well, along with some tarp pr propellers and a whole lot of ambition, they surpassed scientific laws that once bound humanity to submission against the things that hold us down. It is that very concept that got their dream off the ground. Two words, self-powered. We as graduates are about to go on our very own aircraft expedition, if you will, stepping into a world where self-powered means self-reliance, means relying on ourselves to power our own future. It's taking that first step off the comfort of the ground that once held us down and trusting our rickety aircraft made by the blood and sweat of our brow and praying to the very skies that it will fly. Then what next? We see those heights, we soar and become a part of the heavens. We see the eyes, we see the world through the eyes of the stars, pinpoints of light no longer depriving us of flight. 
a newness to our view that encompasses me and you in a realm where potential is the currency to which our lives are reimbursed for years of waiting for this very self-powered moment. I give you another variable to the equation, purpose. Flight without the wind, like an aviator without purpose, is destined to stay on the ground. Notice the verb, stay. Because in all reality, it is inevitable that gravity will claim our wings once again. Despite our best efforts, things don't always go as planned. We may find ourselves looking up to the skies that we once commanded with two feet planted on the ground. And at this moment, at this very moment, you have a choice. You can give up the fight to flight and live your life stuck on the ground with only faded recollections of the heights you once knew or you can choose to fight the odds. To try again and again and again because power doesn't come in perfection. Power comes in the persistence to grow despite opposition. It's not every day that we are given a blank canvas to project the dreams of our lives upon. Painting whatever picture we like, discovering not only who we're meant to be, but why we're meant to be. No filter, no obligation. It's the moment that propels us into our dreams and spits them out into reality until we are floating in the very cosmos of pure potential. This moment, it's the moment of flight. I leave you with one last variable, stillness. When you're up there and the wind is rushing past you and it seems as if the whole world could disappear, remember to look around and acknowledge how far you've come and how far you have yet to go. Because that is the very essence of flight, empowering the self you once knew to reach those heights with a Polaroid kind of view. Thank you. Thank you, Brogan. I would now like to introduce faculty staff speaker, Jackie Buller. Hello, family, friends, and class of 2022. I am thrilled to be up here addressing this unique, resilient graduating class tonight. The last time I had the privilege to speak was four years ago, and my how things have changed since then. When I was first approached to be the staff speaker, I began the inevitable spiral of what do I say and what should my message be? And eventually I turned to the creative solution of Googling graduation speech ideas. As luck would have it, this also happened to be the same week that Taylor Swift gave her commencement address at NYU. So unless you all are prepared to hear me weave catchy song lyrics into a speech about the lessons I've learned as a teen pop star, I figured I better rethink my message. So tonight, on a night meant to celebrate success and accomplishment, what better topic to cover than failure? Yep, that's right. I wanna take a few minutes to address the importance of failing and the value of making mistakes. Don't worry, parents. I am not here to tell your kids that failing out of college is a good thing. But I am here to tell them that failure is often an essential prerequisite for success. The recipe for succeeding is hardly a mystery. Hard work, discipline, perseverance, maybe a little luck. But something we often ignore is the value of failure. We are taught from a young age that failing is bad and something to fear. So we pull all-nighters to prepare for a big math test. We beg for an extension on an essay we've been putting off. We stay quiet in a class discussion to avoid sounding ignorant. But in each of these situations, if we don't overcome our fear of failure, we never learn to move out of our comfort zone. 
Some of the most prestigious universities, progressive companies, and competitive institutions deliberately seek out people with records reflecting both success and failure. That's because someone who experiences failure gains irreplaceable knowledge and an unstoppable perseverance born from overcoming hardship. Graduates, let me tell you a little story about who I was when I was sitting in those same seats as you. I remember being filled with wonder and promise for the future. I was going to UW and I was going to be a lawyer. Fast forward a few years and I had set myself up for what I thought was a smooth acceptance into law school. A degree in political science and history, internships with law firms and political campaigns, except there was one obstacle. I was consistently, shall we say, underperforming on the LSAT. And my less than stellar performance on the standardized test to get into law school, it gave me pause and the opportunity to reassess. I met with a college professor who asked me why I wanted to go to law school. A question to which I gave a canned, somewhat unemotional response. And in that same conversation, I mentioned that someday I might wanna be a teacher. My professor quickly interrupted me to point out that my whole demeanor changed when I spoke about the prospect of teaching. He was totally right. I needed that failure of law school to wake me up to what I was actually passionate about. I have a career now that fulfills me in ways I did not even know I needed and has given me purpose in a world that can sometimes leave us searching. Through this, I learned failing is an inevitable part of creating your destiny. We often make life choices based on what is expected. Too many of us default to our parents' dreams for us or their dreams for themselves, and we end up on a path that does not truly play to our strengths and passions. Failure is temporary, and failure is good even if undeniably it feels really bad when it happens. So why exactly is failure so useful? It is because of what is born from it, resilience. Resilience is defined as the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties or toughness. I mean, is there a more perfect word to describe the class of 2022? You all have faced profound obstacles and have bounced back with grace. According to the American Psychological Association, there are a number of factors that contribute to how well people adapt to failure. Things like the ways in which we view and engage in the world or the availability of strong social resources. And the good news is, research demonstrates that the skills associated with greater resilience they can be cultivated and practiced. So as I see it, you all have had more practice at this point than many of us will have in a lifetime. So much of the last few years has been isolating. But remember, resilience comes easier when we lean into our community. My hope is that you advocate for a society that values inclusivity and that you surround yourself with people who can pick you up when you fall. And to give a little credit to that Taylor Swift speech I alluded to earlier, she summed it up pretty perfectly that, quote, being embarrassed is part of the human experience. Getting back up, dusting yourself off, and seeing who still wants to hang out with you afterward and laugh about it, well, that's a gift. So I wish for all of you just that, a life filled with making mistakes, shaking it off, and laughing with your people. Class of 2022, what gives me hope is that throughout all the challenges you faced, your Issaquah High School experience has left you ready to shape the future, to make it better, more peaceful, more empathetic, and more just. And just know we will be cheering you all along the way. Congratulations, class of 2022. You did it.
Thank you, Jackie. Now, Issaquah High School's Mix It Up will sing In Time of Daffodils. In time, in time of daffodils, in time of daffodils, in time of daffodils, soon all the call of living is to go. Uno, the call of living is to go. Thank you, Mix It Up. As principal of Issaquah High School, it is my pleasure to certify that these students have met the requirements set forth by the State of Washington and the Issaquah School District Board of Directors. It is now my pleasure to introduce Issaquah School Board member, Marnie Moraldo. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I accept Pr Principal Connolly's verification that these Issaquah High School students have met the requirements set forth by the Board of Directors of the Issaquah School District and the State of Washington. They are officially accepted as the Issaquah High School graduating class of 2022.
Catherine Aristad. Yoav Ackerman. Arnav Adak. Rio Adams. Harpoon Addison. Catherine On. Sophia On. Vedi Alatalo. Viola Alatalo. Rahef Alawi. Colin Alexander. Lena Alexander. Anaya Allen. Audrey Anderson. Yes. Elise Anderson. Seth Anderson. Gala Aharova. Tristan Askey. Rihanna Atwal. Ethan Babauta. Brian Bachman. Eric Bajan. Charlotte Bagel. Justice Baker. Vanchika Balaji. Ayush Bunsal. Cole Barnes. Elena Berry. Melanie Berry. Jackson Bates. Arshia Batra. Haley Batel. Jacob Bayatel. Cora Beckman. Ryan Bent. Yeah. <laughs> Nicholas Bennis. Charles Bennington. Lucy Benson. Chloe Bernson. Surya Balpragada. Maria Bolgar. Kaylee Boucher. Anna Boone. Courtney Breeden. Luke Boyd. Mackenzie Brown. Hikari Brown. Abby Bryan. Taylor Brown. Lucas Bookley. Jack Bryan. Brooke Bullock. Candace Bowie. Sarah Burke. Olivia Birch. Marcus Boyko. Catherine Butler. Destiny Calendar. Brooke Byers. Ava Cassis. Isabella Campbell. Stephen Castro. 
Michael John Caribo. Graydon Chan. Stephanie Cash. Z Yin Chan. Karis Casey. Evan Chang. Jason Chan. Samantha Chase. Grace Cheney. Mackenzie Cheever. Ch sorry, Time Chen Panam. Chile Chen. Isabel Chavez. Kylie Chang. Celine Chen. Kyle Cherney. Catherine Chen. Vivek Chilaka. Joshua Chernetsky. Matthew Chin. Avery Chen. Sophia Choi. Clark Chin. Sophia Chow. Angela Choi. Peter Coleman. Pravir Chug. Katie Connor. Summer Collins. Aaron Cooper. Mia Conter. Sage Cowan. Abigail Corcoran. Natalie Crudson. Trinity Cress. McLaren Crow. Emma Crothers. Cole Cummins. Avery Crow. Christian Darcy. Dijant Dash. Jenna Dethar. Narek Tasika. Mathis D. Lombardi. Anna DiCaprio. Mackenzie Diamond. Andre Del Toro. William Dillmeyer. Lavindu Davadithia. Luke Doe. Jessica Dickinson. Caden Dorsett. Shay Dillon. Hayden Drake. Sejul Doji Parthi. Adelaide Dunbar. Melody Dustcom. Nathaniel Eckert. Nicholas Dugan. Luke Emery. Zachary Eastern. Nilan Farron. Pierre Ellie. Annie Fernstrom. 
Catherine Enabo. Isarea Finegood. Eric Fang. Felix Fix. Chloe Fairick. Ethan Flett. Chembe Afonwi Fontama. Zachary Fortes. Camila Friedel. Sophia Fritz. Harper Fry. Darby Fewer. Eliza Foos. Hunter Fulford. Matthew Fulmer. Nola Fung. Nathaniel Gallit. Arturo Games. Jaden Games. Joshika Gunji Redla. Maximilian Gonski. Alyssa Garcia. Canuck Garg. Samvit Garg. Andrew Garrett. McKenna Morrison Garg. Bianca Gatto. Morgan Genson. Stefanos Gelko. Gelos. Isaac Germino. Tanner Jirasi. Okay. Delnazi Gadiali. Hi. Yes, I remember you. Dariush Gadiali. Dom Justino. Yusuf Gurme. Elaine Gong. Max Goldberg. Nupur Gorkur. Sasank Gopasetti. Oh, they're all yellow? They're all yellow. Haley Good. Avery Gorey. Lauren Gotuzo. Haley Graves. Hallie Graves. Robert Greff. Miles Griffith. Jacob Gruby. Yu Ching Guan. Arjun Gupta. Sahil Gupta. Ashley Guptil. Jessica Hahn. You go up, you go up on stage, Tim. Dane Hansen, and presenting his diploma is Issaquah High School staff member Becky Hansen. Sydney Hancock. Darwin Hansen. Michael Hansen. Keely Harris. 
Kira Hansen. Sophia Hoshmi. Kyle Harris. Ella Head. Daniel Hayes. Claire Hine. Kieran Heiberg. Adrian Hernandez. Kathleen Henius. Henry Hess. Lindsay Renee Hertzberg. Hi. Hannah Hildebrandt. Benjamin Hegel. Jordan Hirsch. Aiden Hill. Glida Ho. Andrew Ho. Kylie Ho. Jaden Ho. Sophie Horn. Brendan Huang. Nathaniel Hodges. Jacob Huffaker. Kyla Hovenkotter. Tegan Hutchings. Damian Herwang. Gabrielle Inman. Nicholas Hunter. Nicholas Incensi. Kevin Hunter. Anna Jacobson. Kylie Husmon. Madeline Gia. Anna Iacamini. Arushi Jaloka. Nicholas Imler. Hi. Aiden Johnson. Namra Urshad. <laughs> Macy Jones. Will Jaspin. Olivia Johnson. Morgan Jenkins. Priya? Priya Joshi. Hardy Gian. Jonathan Kaminsky. Mina Joe. Cheyung Gang. Olivia Jones. Emma Karvasik. Bada Jing. Jung. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Elizabeth Kennedy. Shania Kamau. Aaron Kang. Katseni Kennan. Zainip Karatash. Jordan Kenyon. Good to see you. Kasperzak, okay. Alexander Kasperzak. Anthony Kim. Spencer Kylan. Travis Kim. Catherine Kennedy. Avery 
Knick, Knurk. Nisha Kent DeBias. Reagan Kiefer. Eileen Kim. Amanda Rowe. Jiwon Jung. Chelsea Park. Will Kirsch. Noah Knost. Hamez Knopf. Elizabeth Korb. Lauren Coper. Sophie Koz. Samuel Korostov. Abigail Krupkin. Cody Kavats. Sharif Lacoste. Ruby Kresge. Sydney Lai. Anika Kumar. Benjamin Lambert. Jenny Lai. Hi. Jacob Law. Lauren Laley. Anthony Lee. Alex Langley. Daniel Lee. Benjamin Langrock. Johnny Lee. Bill Lee. Kaiser Lee. Elise Lee. Ekaterina Legacheva. Juwang Lee. Colin Lenhart. Tasha Lee. Nathan Leonardo. Gavin Lenheim. Sienna Lewis. Danielle Levin. Elsie Leanne. Jerry Lee. Cody Little. Edward Liang. Jasmine Lin. Charles Lim. Iris Liu. Jensen Linz. Ash Lloyd. Elvin Liu. Jonathan Lopez. Jack Lopez. Victoria Liu. Angelina Liu. Audrey Mail. Madeline McClyde. Shiv Malotra. Rasmus Makinimi. Yanko Madarov. Brady Malone. Claire Marshall. Liv Marbit. Hi. Corrado Mashaki. Callista Martin. Tavon Mason. Ryan Mason.
Lejean Mays. Andrew Matson. Eileen Mayo. Leo Maynard Jung. Ethan Makahi. Emma Mazada. Connor McNeish. Zachary McKee. Jessica Meekum. Henry Sammy Meads. Catherine Menting. Mason Menser. Liam Meyer. Ayla Mesmer. Sam Mishat. Olivia Myers. Callum Miller Lynch. Angela Milkowski. Kate Moen. Monsi Mishra. Michael Moore. Alexandra Moan. Spencer Moreno. Stephen Moore. Avery Morton. Maxwell Mori. Sage Morris. Skyler Morris. Hannah Munson. Mark Mularoni. Andrew Meyerson. Caleb Murphy. Wait, wait, wait. Nicholas Namaho. Chase Nagel. Guilherme Nassif. Ava Napolin. Isabella Neville. Eliana Nesselrode. Hi. Martin Mina. James Nye. Hi. Johnny Novak. Jonah Neiman. Hi. Alessandra Nunez. Maggie Noble. Chase Oakley. Ella Nolan. Kellen Odegaard. Kira O'Keefe. Julian Omi. Kiana Ogata. Rosemary Uliva. Rebecca Oberlander. Hi. Bryce Pacheco. Gracias. 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 Olea. Okay. Gracias Olea. Sam Palmgren. Jaden Olson. Padmanab Patil. Sonia Panjwani. Lilia Peterson. Tomas. Tomas Paramo Gomez. Emma Petty. Akash Pani. 
Victoria Poitras. Jalen Patel. Anna Poole Norby. Sean Patterson. Zachary Priestley. Derek Pena. Unvita Probola. Emily Pinio. Sky Pushcore. Michael Polyakov. Toby Reagan. Amitha Prabola. Neha Ramani. Varun Prabhu. Sahana Rao. Jacob Prout. Dwani Rothor. Senna Kasim. Sarah Robinstein. Remy Ragland. Jade Redmond. Arvind Ramesh. Joey Reesing. Rishi Rastogi. Gil Rezin. Blake Reed. Morrigan Richardson. Megan Richley. Sam Riggs. Carlo Reyes. Hey. Blaine Rodriguez. Dustin Rhodes. Evan Rorda. Gibson Ridgewell. Sarah Rosewater. Uh, yes, when you hear my name. Inaya Rizvi. Alyssa Ryan. Miles Robertson. Jason Sakamoto. Sydney Romero. Hi. Mariah Claire Sabas. Adam Rosewater. Justin Salas. Tanner Ross. Joe Sandoka. Anna Salvador. Marcus Santos. Noah Sanchez. Hunter Shepet. Ajay. Ajay. Zachary Shepet. And accepting his diploma is his brother, Hunter. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ajay Santiago. Jake Shuley. Takashi Sasaki. Kira Schwartz. Ryan Schleicher. Julia Saragin. 
Dahlia Siegel. Saqib Shake. Zach Sievert. Kayla Sharp. Nana Shankar. Charles Short. Kyrie Sheffield. Manal Siddiqui. Matthew Sherrard. Parth Singh. Anushka Siddiqui. <laughs> Kira Slippern. Dusty Sifke. Hi, Isaac. Caitlin Smith. Isaac Slippern. Hi. Matthew Snodgrass. Isabel Marie Smith. Isabella Sorensen. <laughs> Madison Smith. Sydney Spiegel. Solebe. Gavin Solebe. Gavin Solebe. Zach Steele. Tristan Sorensen. Cole Streams. Rohan Sriram. Davis Stryer. Abigail Stipe. Hi. Anna Sullivan. Straw? Yeah. And you want just Ben? Ben Straw. Hi. Matthew Tappan. Claire Sue. Madeline Terry. Augustine Tangus. Hi. McConnell Thompson. Benjamin? Okay. Benjamin Taylor. Mercedes Tinder. Arnav Thepasandra. Grace Tran. Jeevan Tib. Jeevan Tib. Hi. Fiona Tracy. Priscilla Tolosa. Hi. Sienna Tremblay. Taylor Tran. Hi. Joseph Sang. Marissa Tremblay. Samuel Turney. Hannah Trin. Jacqueline Vanoni. Amy So. Piero Yauri. Chandler Tupo. Hi. Jessica Vasquez Ortega. Hannah Vargo. Hi. Connor Vergaru. Kabir Vats. TJ Victory. Ananya Verma. Ashika Vishwanath. Christopher Venet. Paris Wallace. 
Eugene Von Verden. Ashlyn Wang. Alara Walcott. Dylan Wang. Oh, sorry. Alexander Walsh. Nope. Sophia Wang. Doris Wong. Benson Wengreen. Jason Wang. Brendan Wiederen. Stanley Wong. Taylor White. Emma Weissman. Sanaya Williams. Jacob Wilkes. Mitchell Wilson. Wilner? Joey Wilner. Hi. Amanda Winterbauer. Woo. Charles Wing. You. Kaylee Wu. <laughs> Ella Wolf. Julia Wood. Jonathan Wood. Mizuki Yamada. Carly Woodfield. Paige Yednak. Yang. Eric Yang. Libby Yoon. Matthew Yi. Carl Yunt. Alexander Young. Jingyin Yoon. Kate Yuan. Luis Zarate. Isaac Zhao. Eric Zhang. Zhang? Oh, Kevin Zhang. Sorry. Junting Zhang. Julia Perry. Alice Zborowski. Jenny Young. Esther Sneath. Anya Guyton. Miranda Lau. Charlotte Denny. Matthew Bratton. Joshua Delgadillo. Brogan Brown. Aaron Tylutke.
Will the class of 2022 please stand? It is now time for us to transition from students to graduates. Would you please turn your tassels? I would like to present to you the Issaquah High School graduating class of 2022. Congratulations. Thank you all for attending graduation. Please meet your graduate family and friends across the street in the courtyard next to the parking garage. Thank you all again for attending and congratulations to the class of 2022. Yeah. 